hard has inflation hit you? It, it hit me hard. It's hitting me hard. Who do you blame for it? I blame the federal government at this point. If a working class mom who works as a paralegal cannot buy a $2 bell pepper because it's now five, imagine a mother living on food stamps. Mm. Imagine a mother who's making minimum wage trying to feed children. Mm. They're killing us without killing us. If you, if you understand that. They're killing us without telling us they're killing us. They're hurting people in ways that they can't help themselves. It's either feed my child or, or how about feed my children and I don't eat. But I have to go work. This is why we need the media to ask the tough questions. This is why we need to know about Kamala Harris's policies and how it's going to affect working moms, how it's going to affect everyday Americans. This is why. Call ourselves woke. We better be woke this election. We better be woke. And I hear your frustration in your voice because they're trying to trick us again. Mm -hmm. Really black people. Now you brought up the black voters. It's really black people they're trying to trick. And it's really black people they're trying to hurt. So these, this disinflation, everything's going to hurt, like she said, the people on the bottom. If we call ourselves woke, we better be woke in this election and we better not be voting for Kamala Harris because just by her not speaking, we know what they're going to do. They're going to hit us hard with inflation and infl we can't vote our way out of uh, four years of starving to death, mm -hmm. you know, so we better wake. If we call yourself woke, you better be woke now. Right. What do you mm -hmm. think? Well, that lady, I mean, mm -hmm. I feel so sorry for everyone in this country right now who's going through, you know, a hard time. But again, I'm. I'm afraid that okay. people don't really understand yeah. how eco economics works. Work. Yep. So the thing is that the reason one one of the reasons why we have this inflation is that the left was pushing for uh, hiking up the minimum wage. So they brought up the minimum wage in these places like you know McDonald's, mm -hmm. Starbucks, and so now people who actually are more qualified and working at you know maybe. How, you know, jobs that require more education are actually making the same money because their uh, salaries did not go up. And it's only, you know, the uh, like the service people. And now, how does the economy respond? They have to raise prices on, uh, you know, food, service, all of that. So now everyone is becoming poor. Right. And so it's really, it's a repetition of what goes on in socialist countries is that they're equalizing everyone. Everything. Yes. So now, regardless whether you have a college degree or not, you're making the same money as someone who, who doesn't have a college degree. And that what was going on in the Soviet Union. That was the idea of socialism, mm -hmm. of communism, you know, regardless whether you are a doctor or you, you know, stocking shelves right. in the grocery store, you are not, you sh should not have much of a difference yeah. in income. And so that is actually playing into this leftist utopia idea. And now what they will promise is they might promise, you know, the something world. like uni <laughs> universal basic income to people and they'll buy it unfortunately people don't understand how economics work no they don't yeah you're right and that is and for she actually sponsored she co-sponsored with another socialist bernie, bernie sanders, sanders. Mm -hmm. the green new deal mm -hmm. now when they tried to push it forward it was so bad that it couldn't go anywhere but here she is again she is for socialist things like this she wanted to break the senate to get it passed mm -hmm. she says i am prepared to get rid of the filibuster to pass a green new deal she said which was an extreme policy that called for america to become entirely reliant on so-called green energy by 2050. right and i mean the stuff they had in that green new new deal not only did they it was a situation where they were trying to limit people how many cars you could have yeah. how many cars you could have yeah. where you yeah. can drive yep. and, and, when and you what kind of car and what kind of car and what kind of car yeah. i'm going to repeat this too people who 
99% of the time act on emotion. And that, again, we all have emotions, right? But when you act on them, if that's your general uh, mantra, your general way of life, they are dangerous. This is why I'm calling these people dangerous. Mm -hmm. They act on emotion. That policy, that green deal sounds good. Just like it sounds good for everybody to, to get rid of their private insurance and, and be on the government dole. Mind you, there's always carve outs for the people who are making those laws, right? Mm -hmm. They don't have to get on those policies. But if you, like Yon, I was talking about the grocery store, that woman, when I go to the grocery store, I basically, I want to start begging for half of a green pepper. Because if, you know, $5 for the mm -hmm. whole, give me half of one. Mm -hmm. But these are the policies that we are not talking about, that the media is certainly not talking about. Kamala Harris doesn't want to talk about them because, hell, she, she wouldn't know what to say. She's going to trip herself up. But I, I tell you one thing, Americans, we better wake up. You're talking about being woke? We better wake up and we get better, busy. We better prove it now. And, and, I, and you know, the, the most dangerous part about this is at least with Bernie Sanders, he comes out and he tells you mm -hmm. he is a socialist. He is yeah, for he uh, pr uh, government health care. He is for, you know, so, um, guaranteed income. He tells you that's what he's for. Kamala Harris is such a liar yes, she because is. she's actually this said she's for this stuff. Yes. But now, because it's not politically expedient, she's trying to change mm -hmm. stuff around. Yeah. So no telling what she's going to do if she gets into office. Uh, and a major pillar of her first presidential campaign and would force 150 million Americans onto government health insurance. Here's a flashback. Access to affordable health care should not be a privilege, it should be a right. You support uh, the Medicare for All bill, I think initially co-sponsored co by Senator Bernie Sanders. You're also a co-sponsor yes. on, on it. I believe it will totally eliminate private insurance. Um, so for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it? Well, listen, the idea is that everyone gets access to medical care. And you don't have to go through the process of going through an insurance company. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. Vice President Kamala Harris has been a vocal supporter of Medicare for All, co-sponsoring the bill with Senator Bernie Sanders in 2017 and campaigning on the platform in 2019. On the campaign trail, she called for the end to private insurance and more. Who here would abolish their private health insurance in favor of a government-run plan? Yeah. All right. She has advocated for Medicare for All with a 10-year phase-in period. This would add significantly to the nation's debt, costing $44 trillion, and that the 2019 plan would put everyone in this country on Medicare. It would also cover uh, folks that were... Uh, non-citizens, undocumented workers as well. It was uh, pretty expansive. We, we rely upon the existing Medicare program and would end private health insurance. I hope people understand what exactly Kamala Harris ran on and actually the reason why people didn't vote for her in the Democrat primary. I mean, she, she some of her stances are really scary. As we saw there, she wants to get rid of people's um, home um, uh, insurance, private insurance. She has supported that. She supports allowing death row inmates to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, she supports, she promoted a fund to bail out violent protesters during the 2020 riots. She supports abolishing ICE. Uh, she was named in 2019 the most liberal U.S. senator. She supports, um, again, we, she never visited the border. Uh, and she supports, she's considered a crime to enter the U.S. illegally. She, she considered it not being a crime, making it not right. a crime mm -hmm. to enter the U.S. illegally. These are major policy differences, not just with Trump, but within her own, right. with Biden, right. with Biden. Right.